Tande Hoppa van Johannesburg is een procureur, model en actrice wat gereeld op voorblaai van tijdschriften Pronk. Zij het haar nie door stereotypes laat onderkry nie en is een activist vir mense met albinisme. Tando Hoppa is op die voorblad van die jongste uitgave van Marie Klee. I only realized I had albinism when I was much older. It's funny because with my family, when I was with my family, I never felt different. I never noticed that I was different. And that only started happening much later when I internalized it. And then I started feeling different even from my family. Whenever my father would say something like, you're beautiful, or when my mother would say, you know, you're capable, I would feel like she doesn't understand because she looks a particular way and my father doesn't understand because he looks a particular way. So I felt very misunderstood because I started realizing that they actually don't look like me. And it felt lonely. When I was a teenager, children actually weren't as mean as primary school. I mean, kids are still kids, teenagers are still <laughs> nasty. They'd make jokes, you know, but it wasn't as as extensive as with primary school kids, because primary school kids will sing to you. They'll say, you know, ingao, 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 which means monkey. They'll sing to you, you know. But I think when that came through, it was more extensive for me because at this point in time, my self-esteem was quite low. When it came to superstition, I've had people ask me, is it true that you don't die? I've had old women spit in their tops to just take away the omen of me. Some would actually touch me a lot because they believed that it was good luck. So they would almost sort of consume you. They'd just hug you, hug you, hug you, and they'd say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so much luck today because I saw you. It was continuously just, I mean, the veracity of it all was incredible. When I talk about enoughness, enoughness is really, in essence, self-love. You need to get to a point where you thrive that everything around you, if everything were to fall apart, you're still happy within yourself. Being different is a good thing. When you're different, it teaches you problem solving. Because something is not there the way it would be for somebody else, you have a challenge that you have to learn yourself how to overcome. And that is actually something that's powerful for yourself. So having albinism actually just, it's been an incredible blessing in my life. Dis werkelijk inspirerend om hierdie mense wat op die oog af anders is, soos Tandu, te hoor vertel hoe hulle hulle andersheid omarm. Dankie dat jy saam gekyk het, dis lekker om van julle te hoor ook, so stier vir ons die e-post na Prontheid by actjeel.tv of gaan soek ons op Facebook en Twitter, ons bladseisenaam is Prontheid TV. Lekker aand!